There's a couple of things that you're measured on at a great Mexican restaurant. The most paramount is a great guacamole, okay? So I'm gonna show you how we make our guacamole and you will see how it contributes to all the different layers of flavor, okay? We make a base for the guacamole with chile serrano, kind of like the brother of the chile jalapeno, a little spicier, has a little bit more herbaceousness. I add that to a blender base. I'm gonna add some white onion. We're gonna throw that in there as well with a heaping amount of cilantro. And then we're gonna add a bunch of lime juice, okay? Fair amount of it. Take the main star of the dish, which is the avocados, put it in a bowl. And this is my secret weapon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the way my mama used it. This is Mexican oregano. It's this beautiful, fragrant, dry herb. So I think it really works well with the avocado. So take some sea salt, and that's gonna help bring out a lot of the moisture from the avocado and make it easier to mash, okay? So there's a couple tricks with guacamole that I want everyone to remember. You shouldn't mash it too smooth. And the other big deal is you should always have your guacamole room temperature. You don't want it necessarily cold. Take in some of that puree and help flavor this guacamole. Reinforcing those ingredients, okay? Now I'm gonna add some of the more traditional stuff that you're associated with. So we'll do some onion. And I like super fine dice with this and add some fresh cilantro, which I have here, some tomato. Now, I always use Roma tomato, and please do not throw the seeds out. People working with chiles like jalapeno and they remove the seeds, don't do that. That's what you call a gringada. That's a gringo move. Then once we have that, we'll add that to the guacamole as well, and then we'll put the finishing touches. I'll give it a taste. Mm. Man, that's good. And then I'm gonna finish it simply with a little bit of queso fresco, queso cotija, whatever you have available. And then a little bit of sliced radish. And then if you want it to go tribal, go really back to the motherland. You go with a little bit of champolines, all right? Now, champolines are grasshoppers. And there's a culture of taking grasshoppers, maguey worms, and ants, and then sun drying them, and then tossing them with salt and dried chile. You get them sometimes bigger. They have a beautiful sort of a city to them. A little earthiness that's just wonderful. And then I'm just gonna garnish it like that. So there you guys have it. You have the more traditional, straight up, guacamole done the way we make it here at Johnny Sanchez, New Orleans. So really get behind this and understand the building blocks of Mexican food and then you can truly recreate this at home and be happy.